Okay, let's see. Are we streaming? Hello, hello, hello. Let's listen in real quick on the uh, stream. Real quick on the uh, stream. There we go. That's perfect. Um, voice is coming loud and clear. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good morning. Good whatever time of the day you might be watching today. This is your pal Minsk. We're going to be doing a little bit of artsy fartsy today, continuing the picture we started last time of the three robots from Apex Legends. So let's cue up a little bit of music first, of course, from our favorite Rainwave. There we go. Hey, there's a Yuzo Kojiro song playing right now. Perfect timing. This is from 7th Dragon 2020. I've heard the name, but I don't know what kind of game that is, actually, so... Hmm. Anyway, last time we got uh, the sketch done for... Uh... 44444... Ash and Revenant, so now we just gotta draw Pathfinder here in the background. However, I am gonna quickly try and fix up Revenant's face a little bit. I kept staring at the face afterwards, trying to figure out what was different about it from my previous picture and why I didn't like it, and I think this bridge of his nose should be broader and his nose should be higher up. I think that will fix kind of what I thought was kind of weird about his look here. So we're gonna try and do that. Oh, I also I could really quickly show you guys, if you guys want to, well, yeah, you can get a bigger, better picture of it in uh, my DeviantArt channel, uh, channel, my DeviantArt page that I've made, deviantart.com slash yourpalmins, same name as this uh, channel. Uh, I have just, uh, just finished a new picture that I put there. It is another Hololive fan art. You may recall I was drawing one a while ago, which is also done a while ago and is available there. Hold on, let me show you. This is Rat Suplex. It's a picture I finished recently. This is of the Hololive characters from Hololive English's Fauna Ceres and Bells Hakos. There's a funny conversation they had on Twitter at one point, which ended with uh, Ms. Ceres threatening to suplex Miss Hakos. So, I wanted to draw a picture of that, and uh, I'm pretty happy with this picture. It's a pretty fun one. I was having a little bit of trouble, you know, a wrestling pose, like, can I get that right? But I think I got it okay. The, the hand gripping onto the waist here, I don't know, I think it turned out okay, but still. Um, that took a little bit of work for me, but otherwise I'm pretty happy with how this picture turned out. I hope folks would like it as well. Yeah, like, if you want to get it, again, if you want to get a better picture of it, feel free to drop into the the uh, deviant art page where it is now uploaded yay da -da -da. also a lot of people were asking for a german suplex in the uh, twitter comments but i i wanted to draw a traditional suplex so, yeah i don't know i was feeling more like this one so hope that's fine too let's get to the actual work we are doing today let's really quickly oh this is some guilty gear music that got uh, voted in i see i'll explain the squiggly meadies very good, very good. Yeah, we're doing right away with continuing this picture today, so uh, we are not going to be doing any practice, and I'm not taking any uh, suggestions from the audience at the moment, although I, I guess I could take, like, in, in prep of a future stream, I guess I would be happy to take some ideas for a picture. But right now we're going to try and get as much work done on this Apex picture, possibly even finish it today. Wouldn't that be grand? Maybe. Typing in, we're gonna get a picture of a uh, good old Pathfinder. Here he is. Gotta have to draw him. Oh, but yeah, but I gotta fix uh, Revenant's face, like I said. Yeah, let's see if I can do something about that. Oh, jeez, I can at least scare everybody by zooming in way too aggressively. Wow. Um, so I'm thinking the nose needs to be a little bit higher up. Something like that. And actually, the kind of width thing actually seemed to solve itself at the same time, too, huh? It's kind of funny. It's also the wrong color. Hmm. that. Hmm. 
Does it look better with his nose up like that? Let's zoom out real quick. Yeah, I think it's better like that, although, I don't know, some of the line work still kind of throws me off. We'll, we'll try to figure it out. Next time. Uh, next time. I mean, when I get back to, like, drawing the line art. Sorry, she's drinking. <laughs> the... Oh, I realized I didn't get any water for me, so give me a second, I'm gonna go quickly get something to drink here. Whoops. I knew I forgot something at the start today. Here, 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 here. Okay, round two. Hmm, I'm still thinking about Revenant here. Dang it, I can't get past Revenant now, hold on now. Hmm. Yeah, I think I need to lift his whole jaw up a little bit more. We're gonna do that real quick. I think, I think, because his, I'm looking at some of these pictures, his little, his uh, nose is much closer to his lip there, so we're gonna do it like that, I think. Yeah, that's, that's looking a little bit better. He, he had a little bit of, uh, a little long, long jaw I've missed there, I don't think is exactly, yeah, now he's looking pretty good, yeah, now I'm liking the look here, yeah, yeah. I think this works nicely. Mm. Oh, sick. This music. We got it. I'm so thrilled. I saw it on the choice of songs to vote on, and I voted for it, and I'm glad. If you do not know what this is, this is one of Keiki Kobayashi's finest works. The Liberation of Grassa Maria from Ace Combat 6. Freaking let's go. If you never heard this song before, your brains are gonna explode. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Alright, now we are satisfied with, uh, with our lad. Our lad here. Mm. I wonder if... Well, actually, no, no I'm still not... Satisfied. I wonder if, like, some of the pictures, his, like, scarf already goes down like this. So I wonder if it shouldn't be a little bit more like that. Yeah, I think that also kind of works pretty good. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, let's move on at last to dear old Pathfinder. See if we can't make him look good, too. Do we have any viewers, by the way, yet? Mm, doesn't look like it yet. No comments yet. No, that's fine. No worries. No worries. Excited about this picture here, so... Mm. Oh, gosh. What do Pathfinder's hands look like? Some of these pictures aren't... Perfect. For that, but... Uh, oh, this one's pretty good. Pretty good close-up. Let's see, so he is doing the Cub Scout salute. As you may recall, I talked about that last time. I think, yeah, two fingers. Uh, okay, I think I, yeah, I think I got it. So. Let's see now. God damn, here we go. This song is so good. I haven't have not played this game, but uh, oh, 
I know the soundtracks to Ace Combat very well. Come on now. You gotta, if, if you listen to video game music, you gotta listen to Ace Combat, man. Ooh, actually, hold on. It should be more like that, definitely. I don't know if you guys can make out my... my, like, weird little details here, but, like, he's got... Obviously, there's a robot. He's got, like, little segmented parts here, so I'm trying to get those good there. Digit is kind of lumpy. I don't know. Oh, geez, that's a mm, that's a very phallic thing there. Ah, how do I? Uh, how looks like actually this. There we go. I think that's a pretty good estimate of what that should look like. Uh, now hold on, this should be really round. Oh god, what am I doing? Oh, okay, let's back up here. This is just a mess that I'm drawing right now. Why am I using thickness 10 on this? That's way too thick. Goodness heavens. Let's go down to thickness 7. Thickness 10. No wonder I'm having so much trouble. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah, like... This part is, like, really round. Obviously, it's... It's a fist-tricking mono-eye thing. Thereabouts, I think. All right, it's a decent enough. Might have to use the line or elliptical tool to make some of these shapes once it's time for uh, you know inking kind of kind of whatever the freaking I'm doing here now is just like you know just kind of you know freehanding it for now but. Uh, Is that lopsided? Looks a little lopsided. Should it be more like this? It's like this part seems much less wide than this part, so... There we go, a little better, I think, like that. I think what is this silly jam here now? Man, Liberation of Grasa Mevi is such a good song. Really good stuff. Oh, this is Lufia music. Oh, nice. It's the town music. Beautiful. Mm. And 
where were we? Yeah, here we were. If I were a cool guy, I would have set up the, like, symmetrical tool here. Obviously, that's the best way to make a symmetrical character. Hmm, might not have to consider that. Might have to consider that. To... Get Pathfinder's head all nice and rounded, but... We'll go with that for now. Now, let's see, he's kind of got, like... Hmm... How do I draw this? It's kind of got like, it looks like some kind of like, maybe like, I don't know, fabric or like some thick, like, thick, like, plasticky bit. Here is a neck thingy. It's also got these uh, pipes going here. I'll just put that there, I guess. Oh yeah, and he's got his uh, wacky little pointy engine thingy is in the background. Just draw a little canister there. I don't know what these are, but he's got like these kind of canisters back here, so I'll, I'll try to get that there. I don't know how to do a proper, like, lens like that. Something like that, I guess. Figure it out again once it's time to do the, uh, inking. Um, okay, now, now then, this hand. So, uh... Probably should have started from the bottom finger, shouldn't die. Oh well. It's fine. Put a little ball joint there, I guess. Uh yeah, okay, okay. that part there of the shoulder or like neck thing neck waddle <laughs> whatever you want to call this yeah okay now i need to look up i was thinking that that's the mastiff that he's holding there so i gotta look up the mastiff from apex now for this yeah <laughs> Oh gosh, this is tricky. There's like, hmm, there's no like good pictures of it from, from its underside. Oh no, didn't think this one through. Um, huh. Hmm. Going through some of these photos on that Google Apex Mastiff and uh, I'm a little trouble at first. Ooh, oh, pardon me. Okay, I guess this is the best picture I could come up with, like at the underside of the Mastiff. Hold on. right here you can kind of see what the mastiff looks like underneath so I could probably work with that I'll, I'll try I'll try to get some work done on that front So 
so it's like kind of like this. I think there's kind of a rail bit here. And then come these, I guess to, to help with the grips? We'll see. So something like that. Uh, I don't have any good comments on this front, and I'm not seeing any for now. Someone wants to explain how to draw this gun. Probably stop drawing so many characters who use guns since I'm clearly not clearly out of uh, practice on that front. But, uh, I don't know what it says about me, but a lot of the properties I like seem to have lots of people with guns in them, so. <laughs> King da 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 King da 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 King da da Alright, I guess it's English, it's like D D D. Pretty sure in Japanese he's like da 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 But, uh... <coughs> Pardon me. That's how they pronounce it in, uh, freaking the Kirby anime. They're like, how can I help you, King D D D? I need a monster to clobber with that there Kirby. Freaking. What an alpha. King D D D. Or D D D. Whichever you want to go with. Yeah, something like this, I guess. There's a slidey bit here. No, that's not quite right. Should be much longer, actually, first of all. Let's do it like that. This bit should be longer too then, I guess. Something like this, I suppose. Let's go with that. Uh, as long as it's kind of like the Mastiff, I think we can accept the picture. No, I don't think I don't realize there are some like kind of vents here. Or some kind of like edging here like this. So let's make this a little longer too. And let's make that dark part there a little thinner, to be prominent, but maybe not that prominent. I think the Mastiff has this on both sides, so I'm gonna do it like, like so. There's also a weird like, little flappy bit here, so I'm gonna... Just put that there. like that and then the actual shooty bit now this one I guess I could I don't know I don't really need to see too much but I, I guess I do need to kind of like so I can figure out at least for what it's supposed to look like on this side ah okay okay I okay I got a pretty good angle here of what this is supposed to look like now. Okay, so... Do like that. Make that a little narrower. 
not expect uh, be this demanding. This would also, yeah, this would like be here, I think. So, actually, what am I kidding? Of course, I knew the freaking gun would be incredibly tricky to like model properly. So, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. straighten it out a little bit, like so. I think it's supposed to be more like that. Aww. This is uh, near music, right? Yeah. That's what I saw coming up. Good, good, good. Definitely has that near vibe to it. It's funny, I should probably be like super hyped about in the air automata. Because that's like all that kind of like AI stuff going on in there. The stuff that as you can see, being a robot connoisseur should be all about. I don't know. I find the near games kinda of weird. <laughs> there we go. I think this one probably use with being a little bit narrower like so. yeah 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 but yeah I think that's what the Mastiff is supposed to look like kind of hopefully you can make out its Mastiffiness now, this part is actually supposed to be a little thicker than, than this part here so I think it's fine if I do it like leave it like that Mm hmm hmm hmm. Maybe it's still a little too thick, so... Like that. There we go. Yeah. Cool! I would say that the uh, line art is done now. The sketchy sketch. Uh, wouldn't you folks agree? I think so. I like this look here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we need to draw this, uh, start drawing the line art, and I have to say, I'm a little worried. For example, what the hell this was, I don't... don't remember. I don't know what I was doing when I drew this super thick line here. I wonder what that's supposed to be. Or this part for that matter. What, what, what did I draw here? Who knows? Anyway. Yikes, forgot about the color change. So yeah, elliptical tool is the way to go here. That's a straight line tool. Mm. Bit of a bit of a straight edge on this sword. Why the heck not, I guess, but let's go for that. And let's put a really thin one going here. Okay, maybe that's a little too thin. I don't know. Let's crank it up to two. Yeah, I think that's a little better. Then we go to the straight line. Yeah, straight line should be fine now. Ooh, no, not like that. Uh, there we go. Then these would probably be that tool as well, but I'm gonna try to freehand these. Like so. Hey, Saber Wolf, right? Let's go. 
And I do mean classic Saber Wolf, of course. This is some old school N64 music, not the. Uh, not that nonsense by Nick Gordon. Ugh, 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 gent. Ugh. No, I'm, I'm, I'm being, I'm being facetious. I, I love him. That's my favorite Nick Gordon work. His, his killer instinct soundtrack. But uh, <laughs> yeah, but this is not that. Oh, this is actually this is even older. This is the SNES. I forgot that Killer Instinct was already on the SNES. <laughs> now I gotta draw this freaking. That's actually, yeah, let's... Seven's a little thick for this lightning, so let's... Crank it down to, like, four. Bravely second music, cool. I haven't played that one at all, so I'm not familiar, but like, you know, it's bravely, it's bravely, it's gotta be good music, yeah? Mm. Let's put one that's like curving underneath here. Don't know how to draw lightning. In fact, I think there should be some kind of like really cool glow effect here to really like s sell the lightning, but I don't know how to do that, so we're gonna have to let that be. Of course, Bravely Second did not have a Revo on it. It said it's a Rio, who I don't remember who what they did for Rio, but like I've heard some song from Bravely Second, and it's still I think it's still up there. This song, fantastic, love it. This is a pretty good jam to me. You all. Oh, that's like a drink. Now, let's pull up a picture of Ash so I can do this right. Apex. Ash. a little thicker than four, come on. Although this line might... Use a little thicker line there for that. Uh -huh. Something like that. Idiot Minsk, do not continue drawing on this layer. I think the eye could be a little bit closer like that. But yeah, switch layer now that I'm going back to drawing. There we go. God, I had to like basically tell myself that every time. dumb dumb as you may know so I make that mistake all the time there we 
go fill in those parts. I'll do my best anyway. Clean up that sign a little bit. There we go. Ooh, that looks good, actually. Inked like that. I really like how that looks. Very cool. Now let's start putting in a little bit of the hood. good. I'm kind of all over the place here doing this picture, but... But, I think... I think it'll turn out alright. Okay, well, worst part, of course, this hexagon pattern, which, as you can see, didn't turn out super good. How the hell am I going to do this hexagon pattern? Anything approaching half decent. I don't know. But, uh, I think that's coming up soon, so... Gonna find out. Oh, boy. Mm. This is a real fantastic music right now. I'm pretty... Hi, what is this? Battle Fantasia. What is that? I don't know. Anyone viewing who knows what Battle Fantasia is, let me know. It generally has, well, pardon me, triumphant music in it. No denying that. Frank Klepaki from Command and Conquer Red Alert 2. Don't remember this song, it's called Blow It Up. I'm gonna assume it's a good song because Red Alert. Yeah, it sounds awesome. Oh, sick. Oh, there's almost like a bit of a quakey vibe to it. Uh, what kind of hexagon is that supposed to be? Uh, nuclear device? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I would suck having a nuclear device fall on you. Yeah. Hard agree. Amazing song. Love it. Ah, uh, it's about the best I can do with uh, drawing a hexagon on a surface like this. Da -da 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 Dude, freaking turntables now? Wow.
god damn. Freaking. Amazing that I don't even heard this song ever before, but I guess that just tells you how good the music in uh, all the red alerts is. Almost some Rage Against the Machine vibes on that. Like, you know, it's not like turntable necessarily, it's, it's like, you know, Tom Morello pretending that his guitar is something else than a guitar, you know? <laughs> now let's get a really thin one, draw some of these cracks. Exactly what the cracks are like on Ash's face, but like we'll, we'll go with it. Now this mess of pipes over here. Let's see if I can make any heads or tails out of this thing. of pipes here, you know. I, I don't remember exactly what Ash is like underneath the mask is, or under, I'm sorry, underneath the cowl, but I know no, she has like a tons of like pipes in there. So something like that. We'll go, we'll go with that and I think we'll call it a day on that front. Oh man, I really like this Ash look here. Yeah, enjoying it. Uh, what about you guys at home? Oh, everyone into this? Uh, not by the looks of it, because I don't have any comments. Oh well. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Let's see quickly. If I turn that. Yeah, I still think that's pretty good. Still, I still like that quite a bit. Although this part, good. The strap here. You know. Maybe be a little bit more strappy, so maybe like that. But yeah, looking good. Oh, and her shoulder. Mm. Gosh, I need to look up. Yeah, now I really need to get the picture now what the shoulder looks like. Okay, uh, I think I gotta try and use the line tool for this one. What a jammer of a song, I love it! I believe this is, yeah, Sonic CD Japan. Wacky workbench. Mm. Wow, I'm not doing a great job with this uh, shoulder here. So 
do something like that, I guess. Ooh, let's actually choose the elliptical tool. Something a little bleh, ooh. Something a little thicker than two. <laughs> Go with that for a shoulder for now, I guess. All right, cool beans. Let's see if we can make some sense out of uh, old Revenant next. Old Revy. Yeah, police knots. Lovely. Don't remember where this plays in police knots. Somewhere cool, I'm sure. supposed to be the bandages wrapped around Revenant's hands, but I don't know if I did a good job on those, so... Mm. I do not know how to draw the robotic joints of Revenant's creepy clawed hands, so I just kind of do it. Whatever the heck that was. Mm. Ooh, could we get some more Ace Combat music? I'm gonna vote for it. Let's see what happens. We already got the music from 6, maybe a little bit from 7 as well. Ooh. Probably use the line and elliptical tools for. For uh, the gun here, the RE forty five. Yeah, we got it. Magic Spear 2 from Ace Combat 7. Once again, Keiki Kobayashi killing it! That, that That is something I mean to play one of these days, by the way. Ace Combat 7. It's apparently it's really, really good. I mean, the soundtrack's fantastic from what I've heard. And it is on PC, and... Uh, I just haven't gotten around to it. So many games to play through, but at some point I want to play through it on the channel. So... Look forward to it eventually? I don't know. Cannot make any promises when we're gonna have time for... A little bit of Ace Combat. Uh... Apparently the ellipse tool is actually the one that you make circles with. I keep calling the curve tool an ellipse tool. I don't know, in my mind, like, that's like you make elliptical shapes with it, so... I don't know. I don't know what this shape is. It's something to do with the, uh, RE45, I guess. I'll just put it there, I guess. These parts are a little less, uh, you know, straight, so I'm just gonna 
three hand these. I guess this this I could probably have done with the uh, you know this like reticle here. I could probably could have done that with the uh, tools, but oh well. Oh yeah, well, yeah, of course, in this riveting. Well, let's see if I can't like. A little bit of something here to sell his uh, creepy clawed hands. Kind of like that, I guess. What's that look like? Yeah, it looks fine, I guess. Kind of like that, man. Eh. I'm not super happy with that RE45, but uh, not convinced I can make it any better, so we're just gonna carry on and maybe like once the rest of the character is done, it'll look fine. I'm not sure I've ever listened to Magic Spear 2 to like its completion, so all these segments here now are kinda wild. here for like revenants I'll, I'll just like start revenant shoulder there you know kind of like sell it i guess like look it's revenant shoulder actually let's put a little bit of there as well they'll be like hey look that's where revenant shoulder is hmm yeah let's go with it like that but i think this line should be like more like here about I like it a lot. Of course, just freaking square ass shoulder. Definitely could have used the uh, line tool here, so I don't bother. Ah, well. You never know how to, like, really do the line work for his scarf. We'll just go with that, I suppose. that look? I think it looks alright. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Next move here, drawing Revenant. Oh, like that, I guess. I'm really, really tempted to put a little bit of money in Apex at the moment. You know, a cool costume in the store. I guess 
I, I can't let myself like get drawn into that lifestyle, but I guess like every once in a while you can buy a cool costume. Uh, basically right now the Christmas event's going on. And, uh, there's, uh, a Christmas costume for Revenant, and in Revenant case, it's, it's just basically, he just looks like a, uh, looks like a Draugr from Skyrim. He looks very, very cool. As a Skyrim Draugr, basically, oh man. So I'm like, mm, my boy. Yes. Oops, everything's gone. Whoopsie. Yeah, that was kind of silly. Like that. I kind of like it. I wonder if this was all just like. Oh, I see. This is his hand right here. So coming up to here, I guess that that's what I was doing last time. So. I guess that's what I, that's supposed to be. This is a great jammer too. This is, what is this? Ratchet deadlocked, dread challenge, grist for the mill. Interesting. And that was the kind of like the edgy ratchet game, right? I remember there was one that was kind of like edgy. It's like, he's like, Ratchet's like kidnapped into like some kind of like gladiator death game thing. I think this is what that is. Just like, okay then. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, freaking, mm. Color in the inside of his cloak. Gosh. It's like, if you look at this, like, hmm, I feel like something's missing from this picture. Hmm. Also, I think, yeah, it probably be a little more like that, yeah. But I think, yeah, I do want it to be kind of like this, a little more narrow, that uh, edge of his uh, cloaky cloak. Yeah, this is a real jammer of a song. It's kind of got like a little bit of like Half-Life vibes, honestly. Some of this bass and synth work here, I feel like kind of reminds me of some of the music from like Half-Life. I mean, obviously it's not. It's still definitely different from Half-Life, but there's some, like, vibes that I get from this. Yeah, ah, oh, man, Le freaking Revenant is looking really good in this. I really like... I managed to actually get him to look a lot better than... Uh, 
because I was getting weird vibes from his like uh, image, like I mentioned. This one is awesome. If I do say so myself. Uh, So, only one challenge left for old Minsky here, I guess. Just doing his all like around right his shoulder there, I guess. And his hands here. Dow. Yeah, but only one challenge left for old Minsky boy. Just, you know. That's the draw, Pathfinder. We got the line art done, but have I got the chops? Make Pathfinder look good. We're gonna find out. First of all, mm. Okay, don't know how to use the elliptical tool. <laughs> how do you position the damn thing? <laughs> damn it. No, stop it! Why aren't you taking the... There we go. Why? What the heck? Ugh. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, no, let's cool that though. Um, cool, and now let's close that off. Fix that up a little bit. See, I kind of that part didn't quite land as well, but there we go. I think that's all right. Switch back to our curve tool. Yeah, this is actually like doing like these quarter circles seems to be the best way to get this curve the way I want it to be. <laughs> Sorry, I just got like, the tool was going all over the place. Something like that. Meh. Oh yeah, curves tool still. Let's see if this one can we can do. Uh, what the? Uh, j uh, j uh, gross. Okay. Mm, no, I think I still need to do it like kind of like uh, put to the halfway point and curve it up. Put to the halfway point again. Curve that one up. Ooh, fix that just a little bit. 
going right there. And perfecto. Yay! Uh, now we switch to the line tool, so that should go fine, because I'm just gonna... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And... Uh -huh. Okay. This is... Soul Calibur, the original one. Incredible. Whoa, that's been... That didn't turn out quite how I wanted it. I forgot to draw into like... It's got a little circly bits here, so I should draw those. A little circly bits down here. I'm just gonna draw them like that. Ta da! Uh, mm. Yeah, I like like Pathfinder's vibe so far. I was about to ask, what the hell is this? Is that, oh, that's the cylinder thingy that he's got on his back, which means I should really draw a second cylinder over here. So let me just you know, do this and then remember to switch layers again, you stupid Minsk. You awful, dumb Minsk. Ruining everything. But not this time! Haha. <laughs> See, I'm trying to desperately remember what the hell this mess of uh, lines was that I made to be a uh, finder selection of fingers. I think I got it. I think I just gotta get rid of these lines underneath here. Otherwise, yeah, I think I did that okay. Oh. Can I draw that other finger down there as well? You know, just those like Cup Scout Salute, two fingers. Oh. But hey, I like that look. What is this? Oh, Crypt of the Nectar Dancer. Cool. Nice jam. I got like a big old waddle that I've drawn for him. Something like that. Okay, uh, hmm. Gosh, what the hell did I do for his fingers here? This is so messy, wow. Oh, dude, this song is awesome. This song's amazing. I love this jam right now. It's kind of like his fingers, I guess, so we'll go with that for now. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of a railing here, I think, on the gun, so let's do like that.
could uh, clean up a little bit there. Clean up and I'm done for. that I guess. Sorry, I'm being a little quiet again because I'm like really focusing on this Mastiff is challenging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go like that. Yeah. Let's turn off the layer real quick so I can get a little look for my element drawing here. Yeah. Looking alright, I guess. Oh, cool. This DJ's theme from the one Street Fighter that had the OC remix music in it. DJ! Any comments? No comments. That's fine. That's fine. You're doing all right. Hmm, could I use a little bit of thicker... Probably could have gone with a thicker... Uh, lines when I did Pathfinder's body here. Yeah. It's fine. It should be fine. Ooh, that was a abrupt music change. What the heck? Shopping network? Or an elevator, possibly? Oh, it's the shop theme from Shantae 3. Cool. Another game I really, really should get to at some point, because I played Shantae 2 years and years ago. And I did like Shantae 2, so... Long overdue to get back to some Shantae. Ooh, you know what's not so good is this line here from Revenant's, uh, like, outfit was, like, really lining up with the line I had drawn onto Pathfinder, and that looked kind of weird. So I'm just gonna, yeah, switch that line up a little bit. There we go. It's a little too aggressive to have just like blank dark like that, so I'm just gonna do something like this, I guess. Maybe that it's a little better like that. Let's go with that. Let's see if we can finish the venting on this gun here. Sad. Oh, it's Grandia. Interesting. I own Grandia, but I haven't gotten around to playing it. Like, I, I, actually, on the PS One, I, I bought it at a uh, old games store back when you still could find games at those places. Like, they had like, oh, Grandia. Let's go. That's a classic. Nowadays, I believe Grandia is in fact ported onto the PC. So. Everyone can enjoy Grandia, so get on that. It's classic. But, uh, well, I guess I you just have to take my word for it, because, like I said, I haven't actually gotten around to playing it, so. Hmm, my bad, my bad. Ugh. You can kind of tell that's the Mastiff, I guess? I don't know. Oh, yeah, so now let's do.
a little bit of this lens here. Oops, switched colors. Kind of looks like a camera lens, yeah? Oh, yeah. Groovy. There we go. And I think we are actually done. Oop. Oh, no. At the last minute, I did it. What the heck? Ah, look at that. I forgot to change layers. Oh, no. Well, you know what? This isn't the... Uh... isn't a nightmare, I don't think. This part's a nightmare, so... This part we can salvage, thankfully. We're gonna do like this. Like so, and we're gonna make a cut and paste. And then these two, we are going to merge selected layers. And now, yeah, it's there, but there's a bit of blue there, so we're gonna have to... Have to clean up a bit of that blue, unfortunately. Yeah, that's the problem now, is that blue is gonna get transferred if I... So I'm gonna clean it up as much as I can, and then we're just gonna have to... Bear and grin it. With this, th with the gun here, I think. Mm, just gonna have to actually, like, just redraw it. Redraw this part on this layer. Well, that's fine, because I feel like I did this one wrong again. This part right here. So we can probably still fix that up. We can still fix that part up. But yeah, we have to like draw this whole thing again now because of my incredible screw-up. Well, incredible, incredible. Could have been a lot worse. Like, could have been like way deep in and like screwed this part up. So, you know. A little bit of blue is going to be left here in the middle due to my little, little mistake, but I think we can live with it. There we go. Clean up the fingers a little bit at least. See if I can't. This should be a little bit more, I think, clear what's going on here, so. Damn, that slap thing. So this is Sonic Adventure 2. Um, called Down in the Base. I don't don't remember what that is, but I, I remember Sonic Adventure 2 very poorly. I've only never played it, I've only seen a couple of uh, Let's plays of it, so. Apparently, some point in the game, there's some rad music playing. If I listen to this shit. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. We are on the light, right layer now, right? Yes, we are. Good. <laughs> like, well, what if I'm doing idiocy again? No, we're not. It's all good. But, uh, yeah. Oh, gosh. That doesn't look so good. I was about to say, I think we're done here, but I need to clean. No. No. I said undo! God, how did I manage to do that many steps in between, honestly? What the hell happened there? I don't know. Damn, this jammer of a song. <laughs> Sonic music? Pretty good. Most of the time, Sonic music is pretty good. Rise of Lyric is kind of like, nah, but, <laughs> you know, that's no surprise for Rise of Lyric, kind of par for the course there. Interesting, I was accidentally using the straight line tool there for a bit, very interesting. There we go. this look better like this? I think it would. Yeah, so let's do that instead, yeah. But yeah, let's say picture's fucking done. And beautiful. I'm really happy with these two lads. Pathfinder's okay too, the Mastiff's like fine. I'll, 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 I'll accept this. Look, I think it's fine. So, yeah, good shit. Let's save that freaking shit, and I'm gonna upload this. I already uploaded the one picture today onto uh, DeviantArt, so I'll probably put this up there tomorrow to space it out a little bit. I... But, uh, yeah, freaking good job, me. Yeah, I'm happy with Ash. I'm happy, really happy with Revenant. I was a little worried about Revenant, as you may have heard, so the fact that he turned out this good is good. Yeah. And uh, Pathfinder's pretty good too. I'm pretty pretty happy with them. Although all those uh, all those uh, really like sharp shapes threw me off. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this another pass just to like because that was some really messy line work there. So I'm just gonna do that. There we go. You know, thinking like I should be like, yeah, just, like what Pathfinder seems really unshaded though is the problem. So I'm like, should I be doing a little bit of shading here to like really sell? I don't know what's going on here with his like limbs and stuff? I don't know. I'll do a little bit of shading here because I feel like Otherwise, he's looking a little bit barren, you know? He's like looking like kind of like, hello, I'm just a... I'm an unfinished picture, hello. Hmm. Nah, I think, I think it's fine now, though. Just a little bit of shading there to, like, improve it. So, we got it. We got it. Oh, Pathfinder, you beautiful, beautiful son of a gun. Yeah, now I'm pretty happy with this picture. Yeah, freaking awesome. Yeah, pretty cool shit. Maybe. Just a 
a little bit of lines there again on just to provide a little bit of like shape there. Mm, and also, okay. The like shape of Revenant's eyes is a little off. A little. There we go, now it's a nice clean eye there, mm, clean. Ooh, hold on, what's that bit missing there, goodness. Why are those bits missing there? Did I accidentally tap her in the eyes there with the eraser? Because there was a huge splotch of missing there. I don't know. But anyway, yeah! I'm gonna call it here. It's been a good ride. I'm really happy with my work. I hope you guys watching enjoyed it as well. Uh, I certainly enjoyed drawing this, yeah. Uh, holiday season's coming up, so not a hundo when I'm gonna be popping in to stream art or games or anything really in the future. So, so let's all agree to a bit of a holiday break, shall we? That seems like a fair thing to do. At least for now, videos are gonna be coming out on my channel as normal. So, definitely don't have to worry about that. But, um... Uh, but, uh, streaming will return at some point. I'm hoping I could get some Vigima gamings done. Not, not, I've been doing a lot of art streams lately, and that was kind of my main purpose for this channel, so uh, that's fine. But I would like to try to play a few games in the near future, so we'll see how that goes, but, uh... I'm not gonna give up streaming just yet. Let's put it that way. It's too much fun. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm uh, glad you have have had you all watching today. Uh, and I hope if you're wa whether you watch this live today on Twitch or you're watching the VODs on uh, YouTube, yo, everything's good, and I appreciate you for your patronage. I hope to see you in the future for some other images as well, or other streams, other videos, whatever the hell it's gonna happen. Other, other stuff. But now I'm gonna call it for today. Thank you, everybody. It was a pleasure. Bye bye.